What's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Hope you're doing well. Uh, today we're doing another unboxing. I just received this package, came all the way from Korea. Inside here we have a new product from Aquario. I think most of you will know Aquario by now. Um, they make a lot of very good CO2 diffusers, they make aqua soils and fertilizers. And they just released a new product that should be inside this box. So let's open it up and let's see what's inside. All right, so here we have the Neo Flow by Acario. I saw this pop up on their Instagram a few weeks ago. It looks really interesting. Uh, so I contacted them and asked them if I could test it out. And they were very kind and they sent me two of them for free. So Acario, if you're watching, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. So what is this Neo Flow exactly? I'm sure most of you that are watching are into aquascaping and good chance that you're using an external filter, maybe with some glass lily pipes as well. Um, I have two sets of glass lily pipes on my arcscapes, and even though I love how they look, uh, cleaning them always always scares the crap out of me because yeah, it's made from glass, it's a bit fragile, you always need to handle it with care. And I've actually never broke a lily pipe yet, knock on wood. Let me know in the comments guys if you ever broke a lily pipe. Um, so I've never had one break yet but I seen some horror stories where people had a pretty bad injury and they needed stitches and stuff like that um, so with this Neo Flow this should be a thing of the past because in this box we have a set of inflow and outflow it's actually made from plastic not glass not acrylic but clear plastic so that's why I'm very curious to see what it is how it looks like and yeah just curious to test it out so let's open these boxes and let's see what's inside all right, so we have two different sizes. We have M and we have L. And I think that's the only sizes that they have available. So there, there is no S size, maybe that will come in the future. But I believe that M is for um, filter hoses that, are, that have the 12, 16 millimeter diameter. And L should then be for the 16, 22 millimeter uh, filter hoses. Let's just open them up. Let's start with the M. All right, so that's everything that's in the box. We have two U-shaped pipes. This one looks a little bit longer than this one. Uh, we have two brackets to fit it to the glass edge of the tank. We have the outlet portion, small piece right here. And we have the inlet portion. Oh, well, that's nice. So the inlet portion actually has uh, slots on both sides. Normally with glass lily pipes you only have slots on one side and here they have slots on both sides. So that's very interesting. Let's just take everything out of the foam. Alright so that's everything out of the foam so let's take the foam away. So guys this is literally everything you get in a box. Um, two U-shaped pipes inlet portion, outlet portion, and two brackets. That's it, nothing else. Um, there's also no manual, but I don't think we will need it. Looks pretty straightforward. So yeah guys, this is made from plastic. So it's actually, it's actually a little bit flexible as well. We shouldn't have to be afraid to, uh, to break this so easily as glass lily pipes. Now one thing I'm curious about is the size. So let me just grab a um, piece of filter hose. All right, so I got a piece of uh, clear filter hose. So this is the M size Neo Flow. So this should fit on here. Yeah, I think that fits. Probably would be a little bit easier if I made it wet and I made the. Uh, the filter hose a little bit warm. But yeah, that seems like the uh, same size as the normal glass lily pipes for 12, 16 millimeters. All right, so now we know that the filter hose fits on the M size Neo Flow. Well, let's actually put this whole thing together. And yeah, so we have two different sizes. 
Let's actually measure them. Let me get a measure tape. All right, I got my measuring tape. So the longer one is about 31 centimeters or 12 inches. And the shorter one is about 22 centimeters or eight and a half inches. Now with a normal glass inlet and outlet, there's no, there's no way around that. I mean, you have an inlet and you have an outlet. That's just the way it is. But I think with this, we have a little bit more room to play because the inlet portion is separately and the outlet portion is separate as well. So, I mean, I guess the way that they designed it is that the shorter one should be the inlet. So let's put that on here. So the inlet portion goes on the long, on the shorter one. So that's your inlet. And then the longer U-shaped pipe, that's your outlet. So the, um, so this piece right here is a little bit thinner on this side. So you can fit right. No, actually not. It goes outside. So it goes outside on the tube. And then this is your outlet. And of course, this one can be moved in either direction as well, which is of course also not possible with a regular lily pipe. All right, so I think this is the way it's supposed to be. We have our inlet portion and we have our outlet portion. So this is the way it's designed to be. Well, what if we want to change it up a little bit? Is that possible? And I think it is because what if we just take everything apart again. What if, for example, we have a very, we have a deep aquarium. We have an aquarium that is 50, 60 centimeters high. We could do the inlet portion on the longer one as well. Yeah, why wouldn't that work? And this, and then we can have the outlet portion on the short one. I mean, that can work as well, of course. And what if we have a very shallow, shallow aquarium? We could also have the inlet portion just on the short side. So, so then this part goes inside the aquarium and the longer part goes outside the aquarium. This should work as well. And what I saw from the website, the Aquarium website, is that you can actually, you can cut these pipes as well if you want. So there's these special pipe cutters for PVC pipe or whatever. And you can just cut these to the size that you want, of course. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna do that, but it's an option. So there is some room to play with these separate inlet and outlet portions. And I think that's very smart that they did that. And I like that with the outlet, you can change the direction of the flow. I think that's genius as well. But let's let's uh, install the, the brackets. So I think that's just a matter of, uh, first I have to open them up. A little bit and these are made from acrylic actually so if you just open these up a little bit slide the pipe through and then close them again and that's that let's just put these together and let's uh, let's install them on the aquarium all right so here we have my 7 liter aquascape on the front I have a regular glass lily pipe, just a regular one. And in the back I have the inlet with the skimming portion as well. So I'm not sure if I'm ready to give up on the skimmer yet, but for this purpose of this video I'll remove them both. And then we'll install the Aquario Neo Flow. So let's do that right now.
Okay, so I just measured the space between here is about 15 millimeters or about half an inch. So this is suitable for a glass thickness of 15 millimeters or half an inch, which is quite a lot of course. So I've removed the glass lily pipes. Let's just put these brackets on and then we can install the, uh, the new inlet and outlet portion. So there's the bracket on the side of the glass. And actually remove these small plastic bolts and then screw it, screw it all the way against the glass and then put the plastic bolts on again. And now we can open this up and then add our inlet portion and then close it all the way down. Alright, that's the outlet installed. You can still move this around a little bit as well if you need to. It's not super tight. Alright, so that's both of them installed. I think that doesn't look too bad. It would have been nice if they would add a small tool to inside a box to tighten these bolts. I now, I now did it by hand and it's, it's quite okay, but I actually have to get a, a toolbox out to tighten them a little bit further. Okay, let's add the uh, clear hoses and then we can put on the filter. Let's see how that goes. This is how it looks from this side. It's not super clean and that's mostly because uh, yeah, my inlet used to be on the on the back of the tank and now it's in front so it looks a little bit weird and also I have my filter hoses coming from behind the cabinet and not from the side so it looks a little bit messy right now but for the purpose of this video it's fine you get the idea how it works so now let's just switch on the filter and see how it looks Alright, that's it guys. In and off flows up and running. I think it looks quite good. Uh, first things I notice is that the flow is actually a little bit stronger now. Because of the uh, outflow portion is yeah, it's just smaller and narrower comparing to the uh, glass lady pipe that I had with the white white outflow basically. So the flow is a little bit stronger right now, but I actually quite like that. Yeah, I'm I'm, uh, I'm really surprised by how this looks. I think it looks quite clean. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. So here we have the plastic in outflow from the new flow and let's then compare it with a glass set. So this is glass. Glass versus plastic, clear plastic. All right, that's it guys. Quick unboxing and installation of the Neo Flow from Aquario, a plastic lily pipe. Uh, sounds cheap. But I think it's, it looks like a quality product for sure. The, the plastic feels strong, it feels like it's not going to break anytime soon, especially not compared to glass lily pipes. So I'm curious to see how durable this product is going to be in the long run. Curious to see how easy it will be to clean once it gets dirty. And also curious to see if it's going to leave any scratches on the plastic. And I'm also very curious, curious about a lot of things actually. I'm curious about the price, because as I mentioned I got this for free from Aquario. And it's not available on the market anywhere yet. So I'm curious how much this is going to cost and how cheap or how expensive it will be compared to a set of glass lily pipes. Um, but yeah, if you are scared of breaking your lily pipes, maybe this is a product for you. I'll keep you guys posted on the, yeah, on the product itself and how I, how I like it. Um, if you guys have any questions about the product, drop your questions below. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.